Thank you for coming to learn about our genetics program at NC State today. I'm Dr. Betty Gardner, and I'm the director of the undergraduate genetics program. So you might ask, what is genetics? When I think about genetics historically, I think of three main areas. Transmission genetics, and you might think of Gregor Mendel and his pea plants. Molecular genetics, and you might think of Watson and Crick and the structure of DNA and the area of population genetics and evolution. And then you might think of someone like Darwin. Well, genetics has actually expanded quite a bit from that. From the simple pedigrees that you've drawn for probably many years, we've gone now to DNA sequence data. And then expanding on from that, we can actually do various molecular techniques to isolate genes on chromosomes talk about developmental genetics and what controls the expression of genes. So we have a glowing mouse, not something you find in your typical barn. And even looking at genetically modified organisms for agriculture and extending on to medical applications of genetics. Well, the undergraduate genetics program at NC State actually has been around for a while, but it wasn't a major until 2010 but we've had the genetics minor since 1988. Many of you will choose to select other majors, but I want to tell you a little bit about the genetics minor because it works well for many of the life sciences majors. In many of your life sciences curricula, you will already be taking genetics 311. The minor requires that you take 311, the principles of genetics, and its corresponding lab, genetics 312. You're then required to take molecular genetics and statistics. Then you get to pick two of our classes down here, which are elective classes that help you to expand your knowledge in areas of genetics that are of interest to you. But for those of you who are interested in the genetics major, we do have the Bachelor of Science degree in genetics, as I said, established in 2010. Well, how are we different from the other majors? One thing is that we are somewhat small. Currently, we have 87 genetics majors, and that probably will stay relatively consistent over the next few years. We try to provide opportunities for you to interact with fa the faculty in our college. And among that, we want you to get experience in research. Who should come up for a genetics major? Those people who are interested in genetics, who find it fun. Those who excel in the intro genetics classes may want to consider this as a major. Or those who excel in the intro um, genetics areas of your biological sciences classes and find that to be the most interesting part of your undergraduate courses. As far as the requirements for the major, you are required to take our basic principles of genetics class, Genetics 311, and its corresponding lab. We also want you to get a broad ex, um, experience in the basic topics of genetics. So we require molecular genetics and a population quantitative and evolutionary genetics course. We also want you to take an advanced lab because this allows you to actually explore a topic much more independently from our typical labs. And then we require an independent teaching or research experience. After that, you can select a couple of um, electives that are going to ex expand your knowledge in the areas you are most interested in. The independent research, many of our students conduct research on campus. Some construct, conduct research with, in our genetics or our biological sciences departments. And some con uh, conduct research out in the vet school or over on Centennial or in other areas out in the Research Triangle Park and sometimes other, with other universities. Some of our students choose to do a teaching project. Then they are typically assisting in the Genetics 311 Principles of Genetics class. That class is a three-hour lecture and a one-hour problem session. And our undergraduates get an opportunity to teach a problem session of that class. Well, we don't want school to just be your courses. We want to get to know you, so we try to have some opportunities where you can meet other, um, other students in the major, where you can show off and showcase your research experiences, 
and where you can actually get plenty of opportunity interacting with other folks in a research lab. We uh, have a genetics club at NC State, and this is a group of our genetics students out there um, doing some outreach activities with that genetics club. Who are our majors? We're more female than we are male currently, and we don't really have freshmen because our freshmen come into the life sciences first year program and then they tend to matriculate usually after their second semester, maybe a few after the first semester. But we do have a fairly high component of seniors and then split equally with the juniors and sophomores. There's plenty of room in the genetics curricula to select a minor, and we have a pretty wide variety of minors among our genetic students. Things like anthropology, biomanufacturing, statistics, even music, psychology, Japanese, microbiology, there are lots of opportunities on campus to explore some of your other interests as well. Um, as far as how big our major is, we expect to take somewhere between 20 and 30 life sciences first year students when we um, allow folks to code it into the major about every year. And hopefully there will be lots of you who are interested in genetics and will want to do that CODA process. Everyone always wonders what our genetics majors are doing now. Well, you have to remember, we don't have a lot of graduates because we are a new program, but our students have been very successful. Some have gone on to PhD programs and are in various research programs around the country. Some have gone to medical school. Medical school is not just for the human bio majors, and a lot of our medical stu school students are very glad that they have that genetics background. Several have gone into master's programs, some of them being masters of genetic counseling and some being masters to get more lab experience and to get perhaps a better job in a research lab. We have one in a physician assistant program and one in a nursing program. But by and large, our majors have graduated with their Bachelor of Science degree and gone out and found a job. Many of them are in technician positions and research labs at NC State. We also have those in research labs in other universities in the Triangle and in various companies and industries in the park and of course outside the state as well. We do have two of our graduates who have gotten <clears throat> their masters of genetic counseling and are current practicing genetic counselors. Uh, we have a couple of others veterinarian, um, a scientific writer, a medical assistant, and a AmeriCorps teacher. So we have a bit of variety there among our graduates. If you are interested in majoring in genetics, I would encourage you to contact me. My email is here, bgardner at ncsu.edu. We could set up an appointment and talk a little bit more about your interests and what would be a good plan for you coming into the program. Thank you for your time.